hey guys welcome to my channel once again i just want to say thanks to all my 2000 and plus subscribers and i'm grateful for all the new one that is added on every day i know i've been like behind with so much stuff i mean like i, I make promises and i don't keep up with but it's hard because most of these soups like i don't cook in my house like that only when i'm craving it and stuff like that then i, I just go ahead and cook it even the, the palm butter my husband he's um gribble but he don't like i mean it's not like he don't like it at all but he's that's not like he major soup he, he rather eat he rather eat like cassava leaf you know top of ghee um potato grains you know like those type of soup so and that's what i usually cook in the house because i rather cook stuff what it gonna be eating than me not cooking than me cooking stuff that is not gonna be eating so and when i'm cooking when i decided to cook the palm butter i cook it to what i wanted to taste like because that's what i was craving for so yes i was craving for this palm butter for a very long time like and then when we got the um the lw wives on facebook the group and then one day everybody just started cooking palm butter i'm like no i cannot take this anymore i have to cook my palm butter so i went ahead i cook it just the way i wanted to cook it you know make dry meat and all that stuff just for it to taste the way i wanted to taste so since february i made this video i tried to edit it and i just couldn't finish it so now i decided to finish it so yes guys i mean you can see i have crab um, dry meat, um, oxtail, fish, I mean, tilapia, um, micro, I mean, I have all the different type of fish and meat, you know, shrimp, all in there. So, yes, guys, um, I decided to, to make it with fufu because palm butter with fufu is so good. Like, oh my gosh. Like, after I was done recording, I was eating that food like crazy and <laughs> me and my husband were about to go out that night. For a baby shower and i was just stuffing my face and he was looking at me like really like really thank god for whisk squeezer <laughs> yes guys so thanks once again for subscribing to my um channel and i remade the videos to those who've been complaining you know that the music is too loud i hope you guys you know learn from this one um or get a little bit of tips or hints or whatever that you guys you know been liking off from the other video because of the music being loud so thanks for subscribing and don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will catch you guys in my next video so let's get this video started Alrighty, this is my ingredients guys um this is all I'm going to be putting in my palm butter. So I have the praise. Palm butter is very nice. It's very um, creamy. And that's the Liberian palm butter. It's from Liberia. So um, yes, I'm going to be mixing those two together to make my palm butter. It's very, very good. And this is my you know, meat. I have cow skin, which we went to the farm and got. And then um, I have good meat some trap now i know the name <laughs> hard chicken um pea feet and oxtail and i have some fish i have some tilapia and micro crab chicken feet Whew, yes this is the platter of gold you know what i'm saying i have some dry fish and a dry shrimp um bunny um kong bay and yeah, I'm saying truly made by me dry meat. So guys, if you guys want to learn how to make dry meat, let me know and I'll make the video and post it for you guys. It's very easy, you know what I'm saying. So yes, guys, I really wanted this palm butter to be yummy. Like, ugh. So when you're making palm butter, you don't want to have too much fresh stuff. You want to have like some dry stuff in it too, because it really brings the taste out. And the dry chicken too, I made it myself. Because the ones in the store, it just starting to get expensive and I ain't got time for that. So I'm like, I'd rather buy $2 and change and go make my own dry fish. I mean, chicken, you know what I'm saying? So yes, guys. Um, Now I'm putting all the hard ingredient chicken, I mean meat, into the pot to steam it. 
I was about to say pa boy, but I was corrected one time. This guy told me it's not pa boy, it's steam. <laughs> so I'm putting all the meat in there to steam it. And then once it's steam, I'm going to take the fish out, you know, before I, you know, start to cook with the pan butter and stuff. So as you see, I'm putting some acid onto my, um, my, my meat and some other seasoning. You don't have to use the same seasoning I use. You can use whatever that is available to you or whatever you like. Like the um, acid, people complain about it, that it's not good for your health and stuff. So you don't have to use it, you know. And if you are using it, you're not using it for like a lot. You just, sometimes it's good to like maybe season the meat with it to bring the meat taste out. And now I'm adding some um, mix, um, how you call it, um, onions, garlic, um, pepper, you know, and pepper, le um, onion leaf, you know, I'm just mixing it to, um, pot boil or steam it and trying to keep the, the fish on top so that I don't, when I'm ready to take it out, I don't be looking for it or around and be breaking it apart. So I'm adding the bunny and the kang bay in there too, cause they are hard meat and I want it to, to cook well. I don't like hard stuff. I like when I'm, you know, eating my meat, it just fall off the bones. Like, ugh, it just melt in your mouth. And it might be like fighting with the meat. Like you, you pulling, you pulling you back. Uh, I ain't got time for that. So yes, guys, I'm just going to let it steam. And now I'm putting the, um, the turkey into the pot. My pressure cooker. The reason why I ain't cook the hard meat into the pressure cooker because my pressure cooker is not that big. So if I'm cooking the hard meat, maybe I have to do two trips and I ain't got time for that. So I just let it boil on it. And plus it's palm butter anyway. It's going to take a long time to cook. So I just let it boil on the stove and then, you know, add all the other stuff. But if, if it's like a, something like easy to be cooking and so you don't want to be there all day, you know, that's understandable. But I'd rather just cook my um, turkey and chicken feet into the um, pressure cooker. I'm trying to think about buying a new one anyway, a bigger one. And I just set it up on 12 minutes because I don't want it to be too soft. I just want to just cook, you know, and stuff like that. Then I can put it over to the other, to the soup when it's almost like maybe 30 minutes before it can be done. Yep. Steaming really good. Smells really good too, guys. So there go my bell pepper. I mean my my um <laughs> happy marrow pepper and the onion leaf and onions garlic you know like have enough pepper in there oh, guys this palm butter was so juicy like oh my gosh this palm i can still taste it the, the oh i can't wait to cook another one again like seriously so you just blend your stuff that's what you're going to pour onto the palm butter once you put it in there. So there's the palm butter. It's from Liberia. Like real palm butter, guys. I don't know when the last time I saw this. Like, I don't know. I don't know at all. Like, since 2001, we left Ghana. I have not seen a real palm butter. Like, cooking a real palm butter. You know what I'm saying? So yes, guys. I was so excited to get my hands onto this palm butter and plus to show you guys how it look like and so how the real palm butter look like or how it become like the cream into the cup or whatever this is how it look like and stuff so that's like the 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 brie or the dirt whatever however you call it i don't know from the palm because back home like you beat you um beat in the mother or whatever and then it become like this this is how also you make um this is how they make um the rare oil like the same way, just like that, and then you just pull in the in the pot and then boil it, and then the, the oil come on top of it, and then you just clear it up. That's how you make oil. That's how you make um palm palm oil back home. And if you want it to bagi it, then you put it back in the pot, and then I tend to put the soda and stuff like that in it. Girl, <laughs> guys, it's been a long <laughs> it's been a long time. Like maybe when I was like eight or nine or I don't know seven. <laughs> You know, that's when we used to make that stuff. So, yes, guys. Now you, you know, squeeze the brie frame in there before you sift it. And 
and that's the praise i'm going to do the same thing put in a bowl and put some hot water and you know try to mix it and break it up yeah i love the praise palm butter it's very very like thick like oh my gosh it's so good it's expensive it's like maybe a dollar extra or something i know when i made the first palm butter it was liberian palm butter i used i think i can't remember but i think that's what i used And you just sift it into the palm but <clears throat> into the pot. I took out all the fish so that they don't break, and I'll put it, put it back in there like later, like thirty minutes before the soup can be all you know all done. Yeah, you gotta be careful because you don't want to add all the brie like sand and stuff like that and when you're eating it's like you chewing sand and stuff like that so you have to be careful where you wait um how you do it because you don't want all that um extra stuff you're just adding all your blend ingredients guys oh my gosh it smells so good and it tastes so good. I'm telling you, the LW wife, that week, I don't know if all of them, all the group of people were planning for something. Yes, they was cooking all that good pump, but then posting, I was so mad. Like, seriously. So, as you can see, I'm adding my, you know, my kit to that. You know, some whole pepper. You know, I add the, um, the African spice. The, the African black pepper and then the, the um, ugh, palm butter leaf. So now I'm just adding the dry fish and stuff in there and the shrimp. And I'm going to keep the, the dry meat for later on because I don't want it to, to break apart too. So now I'm adding my seasoning, which is some, um, some um, chicken soup. <laughs> Mac and cute, if you, if you can call it. A little bit of chicken flavor. Yes. Oof. Guys, that palm butter, I'm telling you, it was the bomb. So now I'm going to add a dry meat. Oof. Jesus is Lord. And the shrimp. Yep. So as you can see, my nails here is different color. And then when I'm making, a, when I was eating the fufu, and then my nails is different because I had so much to do that day. And we had like a baby shower to go to that day. So after cooking the, the palm butter, I had to go to my sister to get my nails done and stuff. So that's why you see I had two, <laughs> two different nails. So when I was done cooking, because my appointment was like at what? 11 so i just left everything on the stove like cook clean everything just left the food on the stove and want to go get my nails done and then when i came back that's when i had to you know do the other um the the how you call it the preview of the the video i mean of the food so guys as once again talk too damn much this is how the palm butter look you know when you're stirring it be careful how you're stirring you don't want to um break your meats and stuff so yes guys this is how i cook my palm butter if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe this palm butter been long coming i'm sorry that um i haven't posted i've been very busy i'm still busy so thanks guys for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave good comments on this video let me know that you got everything you lack of thanks again bye